Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are in Lake Titicaca. Welcome back. My name is Zoe and I am currently on an escorted tour of South America and I've been to Chile and Bolivia and this morning I can't crossed the land border from Bolivia into Peru and our first stop is Lake Titicaca so when you arrive here you take a motorboat out to the floating islands and while we were on the boat we got a really good explanation of the history of the floating islands and also how these islands are created and basically they're made from the reeds that grow in the area so these reeds are buoyant and you pack them up and layer them on top of each other to create these floating islands <coughs> absolutely fascinating now these islands don't last forever you know they do have to maintain them and keep packing reeds on top of them and after time they will you know disintegrate but then they just build another one <laughs> just absolutely amazing now what I love about these islands are each family has its own island and that's their home and then each group all like around each other create the community so it's a little bit like each island is your house with your garden they all have their own style their own <coughs> ornaments that they've made and structures and and then to get to their neighbors they just get on a boat absolutely lovely now I will say um, there is an unglamorous side to this as you're taking the boat into the islands is that it does smell quite strong as sewage but we are not going to worry about that little negative because the rest of it is just absolutely awesome arrived into the Euros floating islands and we were invited onto one of the little islands by a family and in there they showed us how they test how deep the reeds are in the water by throwing the stick through the hole so they can see how much maintenance needs doing they showed us around their houses and these houses they have plug sockets they have solar panel they have running water you know it's these are proper homes and they're absolutely beautiful homes and the lady showed us all their craft work and how they did them and I spent a lot of money because their stuff was so beautiful um, so yes I have a lot of uh, souvenirs from the area And when we were finished there, with, um, with the family took us on one of their ornamental boats out for a ride and that was really beautiful and so nice. Now they row at the front um, and it's quite hard work actually because of the currents pushing, you know, it's, it's quite strenuous so they did have a rowing boat to help at the end bit. And they took us to another island, one of the neighbouring ones, so we could go and get our passport stamped with Lake Titicaca. So that's a useful point. Make sure you get your passport stamped while you're there.
what an absolutely amazing place to go and visit. These, these homes are just absolutely awesome. I mean, I really loved it and I loved seeing um, how happy everybody was, how their lifestyle was, how they lived. It was a, a really unique experience. So we stayed the night in the town of Puno and we were only there one night so I took a walk to the uh, main square and so it was early evening and it was so lovely because you had all the families out just chilling in the evening. There was music playing throughout the square through the speakers, a lovely relaxed environment and they have this most wonderful, beautiful church on the square. So I had a look around there as well. But mainly I just enjoyed the square and just chilling out with the locals. Marvellous place. be going on to Cusco and Machu Picchu. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed my little video and I will see you next time. Ciao!